I think as a latecomer, we in Africa, we, we, you know, there is a growing recognition that education is one of the weapons, key instrument for eradicating poverty and transforming our countries. So I think we see education just not an attendance of students into schools. It is the basic necessity for the countries in uh, developing countries like, like mine needs to work very uh, strongly. And the first issue is access. For us as a latecomers, we have to assure that there is an access to education. And in that sense, uh, there is a, a, you know, uh, an achievement, a growing uh, you know, um, increment in, uh, in access. In this regard, uh, my country has reached 95% uh, you know, primary and mid-level uh, access to education. But still, we have uh, communities, pastoral communities, uh, a sizable co size of uh, the pastoral communities. We need to address those access issues uh, clearly. But again, it's all the odds, like you know, early marriage, uh, dropouts because of insufficient feeding, nutrition, all those issues has to be addressed uh, you know, clearly so that the students can have access fully in our MBDG achievements. So we are uh, committed to achieve MBDG uh, with the remaining few months uh, in education uh, you know, uh, programs. When you come to quality education, I think you know, most of the speakers have said it a lot, that quality education is very, very essential. We in Ethiopia, we have designed a program, a package for the quality education where the government has to allocate enough resource, adequate resource, uh, for assuring quality in education. And we have also seen that designing this package has to involve you know, uh, international community, especially donor community that supports, including the World Bank, uh, that is a leader in uh, Ethiopia to assure this quality education. That needs, you know, um, when, when you talk about adequate resources, I'm not talking about government budget only. I'm saying that our people has to be at the center of resources. You know, our community has the potential to contribute. And in most cases, they are constructing schools. And above all, you know, if you want to see that students, uh, the dropout of students uh, be assured, then you need to have community mobilization and movement where students will not uh, you know, be dropping out. So I think the most important thing is, you know, this package has to be implemented in a such a way that the community at the center, the government and the donor community, the civil society organizations, we all get together to assure the quality of education. And in this sense, we see that the teachers parent association is the most important instrument in my country, and it has yielded the result. So we see that quality of education should be led in a packaged manner uh, so that we assure uh, the quality in, uh, in education. And I thank you for Thank you very much indeed, Prime Minister. Thank you.